data, however you say it, it plays a big role in fishery management. Every year, crews are out electro fishing on lakes and streams doing surveys in an effort to collect data. Links, weight, species, number of fish per minute, all that goes into helping biologists determine. Couldn't stand it. He just couldn't stand it. Links, weight, species, number of fish per minute, all that goes into helping biologists determine how well a body of water is doing. They even have a way of telling how old a fish is. Otolith, yep, it's O-T-O-L-I-T-H. It's really just a little calcium deposit and it looks, looks like a little bone, uh, you know. You know, if you can see up close, you'll see all these rings inside of it and that's very similar to a, a tree rings. So that tells the age every, every year it'll grow on the outside there, and get a little bigger. Today, what we're doing is we're just looking at these otoliths, this little ear bone. These are from smallmouth bass, and that lets us know how old these fish are. And that is a way that we're able to look at these streams and figure out, um, are they getting fish too much? In region two, we've got 13,000 miles of streams. People are falling back in love with the rivers. They went for, you know, landscape-wise, we had all these lakes and everyone was focused on those for 30 years. And those are really crowded now. People kind of want to get away and they've been going out in the rivers. But now everyone has a, a canoe or kayak and now our rivers are getting really crowded. As more and more people are getting into Tennessee and discovering the outdoors, especially with kayaks and the accessibility to these streams that are growing. So our access and our fishing is getting more and more pressure. Now we're gonna take it and break it in half. I wanna to try to go across the center of it. So these are annual growth rings. You can, if you chop down a tree, and you can look at that cross section and you'll see each year where the winners are, are those darker lines. And the same thing happens with fish, this bone doesn't get reabsorbed during the winter, so each winter it gets a darker section on it, which is just uh, where the cells are a little closer together, and that allows us to go back through and uh, count and see how old these fish are. We're using a digital microscope now with, with the system and we're actually able to go in and mark uh, the annuli on there and get micrometer distances between those annuli and we can back calculate the growth of that fish over the years. So it might be a seven year old fish and when we got it, it was 17 and a half inches. Uh, we're able to, through this process, figure out how long that fish was when he was five years old and two years old and that gives us a lot of insight into managing that. So let's just say, just throw a number out, a uh, 15 inch minimum length limit on a river, we can know, okay, that fish, it's gonna take them four years to get there, or maybe it'll be six years. We're managing for all fishermen. The trophy fly fishing smallmouth guy that's out there, uh, that wants to catch a big 20 inch fish to uh, someone that wants to just wet a line, uh, catch a couple legal smallmouth and um, bring them home and fry them up. Uh, that's what, as an agency, we have to account for all types of anglers. And that's what we're doing with this data. We want to make sure that the fishing's as good as it can be for everyone. Mm -hmm.